We're here with Jonathan from Independent Living. He's back with us, and he's here to talk about home modification, uh, but we're moving into a different portion. Yes, yeah, so uh, just as a reminder, home safety modification are simple changes you can make at home to improve safety and maintain independence. And what we want to talk about today are furniture transfers. Um, as we age, it can become more difficult, or if we have an injury, to get up and down off of chairs, couches, beds, things like that. So, um, we have here uh, Anne. Anne, who's going to do a demonstration for us of getting out of a regular chair, and then we're gonna move over here to a modified arrangement and see how that works. Awesome. So all we're gonna do is ask Anne to get, get out of the chair. Yeah. She's got the easy job today. Thank you. Let's go on over here and see um, how these changes change the situation for you. <laughs> so it's good. So she's sitting down now, and now now go ahead and get up. So a Thank lot faster. Much. So a lot, lot faster there. Well, and what you can see here is that uh, we've put some risers underneath the chair, and it's raised it up. And uh, sometimes a few inches of rise is all someone needs to be able to get out of a chair easier. And so this chair replaces, this setup here is almost replacing like an electric chair that would help you out of the chair, which I know you're gonna go into a little bit, but. Yes, uh, a lot of people are familiar with something called a lift chair, which uh, uses mechanics to actually lift you up and out of the chair. Um, those can be very expensive. So using furniture risers like this is a much more affordable way to get a similar effect. And the risers, do those secure to the ground, or what's, what's made, or how are they made, I guess? Um, they can be made many different ways. We custom make them in our workshop, which we'll show you in a minute, um, which means that we can do chair risers for uh, regular chairs, also for couches, love seats, beds, you name it. And uh, most of the time, we secure it directly to the furniture, but you can also do simple ones like this that can be put in and taken out. And they won't slide across the floor then, I mean, once you've got them secured, do you have something on the bottom, like some feet on the bottom or something, so they... It all varies uh, with the situation, okay. depending on what kind of floor surface you have. Now, in addition here to the risers, <laughs> and if you want to sit down again, we've got a floor-to-ceiling pole here, <clears throat> which can also be very helpful for transfers from chairs and couches. Um, you want to try grabbing onto that? There you go. Great. Quick and easy. Thank you. So as you can see, this pole, A, it's pretty probably pretty easy setup here, um, this but is uh, walk us through this. <clears throat> yeah, uh, the average person can install this. It's tension mounted. And what's great about this is it gives you uh, the features of a grab bar, but without needing to be near a wall. So you don't have to worry about uh, damaging the wall or finding studs or anything like that. And you can place this by a chair, a couch, a bed. I've even seen them in the bathroom, any place where you need an extra uh, handhold to help you get up or move from one spot to another. Awesome. Well, th these are good tips. Easy. So you want to go into the workshop? And, yes, we do. Uh, yes. See where the magic happens? Absolutely. Jonathan's brought me into uh, his workspace, pretty cool in here, and he's going to show us now the power chair. So we've showed the other way without using the power chair, but now we've got the power chair here. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, uh, the lift chair or power lift chair is one of the more well-known ways to help people when they're struggling to get up and out of a chair. Um, the drawbacks of a lift chair is that they can be pretty expensive um, and hard to come by used. Not only that, a lift chair is not going to help you if you're struggling to get up and down out of a couch or out of your bed or anywhere else. Um, so they are great for their purpose and some folks that's exactly what they need. But um, if you need uh, help getting up or transferring from one of those other spaces that we talked about, utilizing the risers that we showed earlier, um, those can be adapted in our workshop here or um, you know, by anyone who's handy or a carpenter to provide custom riser solutions, which can mean uh, custom chair risers, couch risers, uh, raising the height of bed frames, um, or really any other application where you have someone struggling um, to get up and out of a space 
and transition to another space. So essentially, we kind of talked about this in between that you know every scenario is different. So you, you would come in or, or you would want to survey the site, decide you know what's the best method per what the space is about between the floor, the patient or person, you know. Yeah, one of the things that we showed earlier was uh, riser blocks, which are very simple and can easily be put in and taken out. Um, but something that's also very popular is something we create called a riser box. And that's an actual full platform that we custom make and measure to fit uh, a person's recliner. And uh, those tend to be fastened directly to the chair because sometimes when people are trying to get up and out of a recliner, they may rock in it and um, cause it to shift and move around. So we wanna make sure that it's very securely attached. Um, but you may be able to retrofit an existing recliner with a riser box instead of having to make that leap up to a brand new chair, especially a lift chair, which could be very expensive. Right. Well, if you want more tips, you can go to the website and, and check it out. We really appreciate you taking the time, showing us. Love the shop area, and uh, you'll be back with us next month. Sounds great. All right. Thank you.